you're probably wondering where I am. And it's a fair question, considering when we left off last video, we were still over at the main encampment. But I decided I, I was kind of sick of taking the boat back and forth from the encampment to other areas to explore. And then all the way back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth through the encampment. You know what? We need a little more light. One sec. Now, like I was saying, I decided that I was going to build a bridge, but I didn't want the bridge to be like any other bridge you've seen before. If you guys know me and my Minecraft building style, you know, I always like to put sort of a weird, dramatic, useless, purely for the function of design and not for the mechanical function of the design, a purely aesthetic choice that sometimes is less efficient than it could be for the sole purpose of the idea itself. This bridge has no functional purpose in so far as from getting to point A to point B. It took me a long time to do it, and I could have just built it above water, but I wanted to do it underground. So this is the other side of the bridge, or tunnel, I should say. You know, a tunnel is basically just it, just the, the inverse of a bridge, if you think about it. Don't think about it. I'm gonna show you guys this bridge right now. So this is across the other, all the way on the other side of it. Now, it obviously begins at the home encampment. Of course it does, like any other bridge. It should start, you know, it should have something good on the other side. I wanted to make this bridge go underneath the water. If, if you see, and I dig out this block right here, there's water underneath, as you can see, right? Water everywhere. Like I said, it really has no function other than just getting from point A to point B. And to be perfectly honest with you, the boat idea that we were currently using to go back and forth, it was probably better than this. Like in terms of efficiency, it's probably faster and more enjoyable, but I just wanted to connect our base to the main plot of land, the main continent. And I wanted to do it in a sort of abstract way. And with abstraction, you're either going to reach more efficiency or your, your efficiency is going to decline. Now, this is the bottom of the other side and let's go up it's lots and lots of stairs. I don't know what it is in Minecraft 1.18. When did they make going upstairs like this? So like jiggity jaggedy. Like do you notice how violent my screen shakes when I take stairs? I swear it never used to be like this. Now I could just be remembering incorrectly but i swear that going upstairs it never made the screen bounce like this maybe i just haven't played in a long time so here we have it outside and if you look really closely okay you can't see because it's nighttime so we're gonna continue up all the way up here we are and here we are at the main base it is nighttime and it is beautiful up here so we're gonna go inside for the night and lay down and i'll show you guys the bridge in the morning. Now, I, I realize that I keep referring to it as a bridge, but in reality, it's just a tunnel. But remember what I said about tunnels and bridges at the start of this video? Exactly. I hope you didn't think about it. Here is the bridge. As you can see, it, it does sort of visually look like a bridge. It really does, except it's a tunnel, which is like a bridge if you don't think about it. Or if you do think about it, it kind of just makes sense. As you can see down there, that structure beside that glowing piece of lava that's our mine shaft right there that's the entrance to it if you can see it i wanted to be able to walk to our mine shaft so that is what this bridge helps us accomplish and i also built stairs going all the way up to the top there that we were just on the other side of at the start of this video so that was the project that i did offline or not offline but i didn't record the process of it just because it was mainly just really arduous and tedious and it really was not that entertaining to watch it really just you know, it took a long time. Okay, I'm just the song I'm gonna say it took hours. Not that many hours, but you know, it's pretty just, you know, it's not very fun. That is what I wanted to show you guys today. And as you can see, the cows are doing great. There's too many of them, probably. We should probably actually go kill some, to be honest with you. So let's go do that right now. Okay, here we go. We got a little bit of beef. I, I wish we had more. But I know how to get more beef. Oh, that's mutton. Oh my god, I killed too many sheep. I didn't mean to harm that many sheep in this process. But we did, and now it's too late. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get some wheat, and we're going to feed them. Boom. 18. Let's see. Here you go. Here we go. We're gonna go down here. We're gonna cook this beef right now. We're gonna put 17 in there. We're gonna put 10 in there. And um, the mutton, 
I guess we'll cook the mutton too. You know, I've never had mutton in real life. I'm sure it tastes pretty good. This is the first diamond that we ever got on this hardcore server. I was there. I, I saw I, I was right behind David when he mined it. It was me, Josh, and David. And um, yeah, there it is right there. That's the first diamond of the server. Beautiful. I know. It was a good day. I remember that day. You know, nobody plays on the server anymore except for me. But I'm glad that um, I started this series for you guys. Because, you know, it's kind of like you guys are playing with me now, in a way. I'm so tired of eating bread. I just can't do it anymore. Okay, now that the beef is all cooked, we have a lot of food to bring with us. And I can't remember if I showed you guys or not. But I've also been working on harvesting a lot of jungle trees. And I think that I did show you guys, if I'm not mistaken. But I also built this nether portal. Just because I, it felt empty up here and I didn't know what else to make. But I'll show you what I've been doing in here. Now keep in mind, this is still on hardcore. The going in here is always kind of sketchy to me. There's something dangerous about it. I can't really describe it. Just, oh my god, I hate these things. All right, there we go. I've just been in here mining for materials. Oh my. Mining away all of this. This basalt. 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 Just because, you know, it's a nice block. And to be honest with you, the main reason I came in here was to get the the, the nether rack. Because when I was building the the underwater bridge, as you guys saw, I needed it. I needed it because without it, it would have taken too long because you can ship it away so quickly. I filled up that entire tube of cobblestone underneath the water with netherrack, right? And then I just mined it all away. It, it was really fast. It was really easy. God, are you serious? How do I get out of here? Oh my goodness, I'm stuck in here. How do I get out of here? I don't have any, I don't have any steel. I have flint. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do? How am I going to get out of here?